Hey guys, this is Andrew for TradingSenses.com. So I've been working as a professional trader for the past six years in Hong Kong, actually on the option market. And I've just started to make some YouTube videos because I want to show you guys how pro traders are actually working, what kind of tools and techniques we use, how we read the data, how we analyze this data and how we set up our trades. So if you want to know about all the stuff and basically how to make money on the markets, you guys are in the right place. So in today's video, I want to show you something amazing. I want to show you something that you cannot find on any other channel because most people don't really understand what they're talking about. And I'm talking about here the short interest on GameStop. And I want to show you guys how to find it yourself and how to understand what kind of impact it's going to have on the market. Let's get into it. So for those who have watched my previous videos, uh, I'm basically going on Yahoo Finance. So let me show you very quickly. I'm going on Yahoo Finance. I type GME. Guys, once again, the purpose of my channel is to explain to you how to do everything I'm doing yourself. In today's video, I'm going, uh, I'm leveling up a bit. Uh, I know that what I'm going to talk about is a bit more complicated, but I'm sure that a lot of you are interested in the stuff and that maybe you want to do it yourself. So this is how you need to proceed. You go on Yahoo Finance, GME. I told you guys the big maturities are 16th of April and, uh, and July, 16th of July, all right, for GME. And you just use this data. So here you have the open interest. You have the implied volatility. You're going to see, guys, this stuff is very useful. So it's very good that they give it, actually, because this data is not easy to find. And once again, here an example for the 800 strike, uh, you have 25,000 open interest on the strike with a volatility of 300%. So now that you get this data, look what you can do with it. We are going here to compute the synthetic short interest together. So I just, you know, copy paste this data. I get it here. So here is my open interest. Okay, so here is my open interest. And what I want to do right now is to convert this open interest uh, positions into exposure like if it was shares. So what I need to do is first, I'm going to assume they are all call options, which is very conservative, but which is not, you know, that wrong. I mean, you know, most of those strikes that are like, you know, above levels that GameStop has never traded. So for sure, they're call options. And some of them you don't really know. But, you know, most of the time on those stocks, people are just buying call options. So it's a good uh, approximation to consider they're all call options. Now I'm going to compute the exposure of all these cool options that I have. So just for you to understand, when you have, for example, 100 cool option of uh, GME strike 300, of course, uh, you don't have 300 shares. You have uh, ar around maybe 30 shares exposure because you need to multiply your number of options by the delta. The delta is the exposure each option is actually giving you. And Luckily, guys, computing a delta is something I'm doing every day. This is my job and I know how to do this stuff. So to compute a delta, you only need to get uh, so the volatility that is here, the maturity, your spot level and your strike. The formula is here for those who are interested. The delta is equal to N of D1. N is the normal distribution. And D1 is this kind of big formula using uh, the stock price, the strike, the volatility, and the maturity, right? T is maturity, sigma is the vol, S is uh, the spot price, and K is the strike. So I'm just computing this. I'm using this formula. And I come up here with my D1 and then my delta, which, which is equal to the normal distribution of D1. And for example, for a 100 strike. So let's start with the April maturity. So for example, for the 800 strike, the delta is 95% because you are very deep in the money. We, if we take, for example, a 200 strike, we are like, you know, at the money and on the, 100, on the 200 strike, the delta is 55%. It's usually around 50% when, when you are at the money. And if you take those very far out of the money call options, for example, the 800 strikes, your delta is only 10%. So here I told you that you have 3.5 billion USD national uh, sitting here. So national is just considering that the delta is going to be uh, full, uh, but it's only actually 10% of that because the exposure of those very far out of the money call options is 
uh, much lower. Even if the volatility is, is like 360%, which is very big, they are not diffusing that much. So now what I do is that then I consider that the short synthetic short, which is actually the positions, uh, the exposure that all the professionals that are selling those call options are having on their books, so market makers and hedge funds, the exposure is equal to delta times the notional. And here you can see that only on the April maturity, I sum it up, all right? I sum everything here and I have the total synthetic short on this maturity due to those call options. So then I just divide this by the market cap of GameStop, which is 10 billion US dollar around. And I come up with the synthetic short on the approved maturity, which is around 9%. Now, guys, this is becoming very interesting. And you heard of this everywhere. I talked of this, but for the first time, I'm pretty sure you're going to understand what is really a gamma squeeze. So stay with me. Here we have 10% because the spot is at 190. Now, what is going to happen if actually the spot price is going higher? Those very out of the money call options are going to be much more in the money. So basically their exposure, their delta is going to grow. All right. This is what we call a gamma. So let me show you an example. If I put GameStop at 250, the delta of uh, the 800 strike is not 9% anymore. It's now 16%. All right. Still using the same formula. It's 16%. And so the total short interest on the April maturity is not 900 million, is now 1.4, 1.38 billion USD. So it's 14%. And I can do this everywhere. So if GameStop goes to 300, it's becoming 17%. And if, it's go if it goes to 500, 28%, guys, is growing. And if it goes to 800, it's 35%. All right. So you just saw that if GameStop starts to go higher, the synthetic short is growing naturally, which means that those market makers and hedge funds, either they're, they're leaving their short interest, so they need to borrow shares to stay short, but this is not what they do. They're going to delta edge the position. So they're going to basically buy around 20%, uh, around 25% of the market cap if the spot goes higher. So it's huge, guys. Now, let me do this on the July maturity. I told you the two big maturities on GameStop are April and July. Okay, so 16th of July. And now, so we are still at 190, guys. And so the synthetic short on the July maturity is doing the same thing, guys. I'm doing exactly the same computation calculations and I have 1.5 billion USD short interest on this maturity. So first we have the, our first answer. What is the total synthetic short on the market? It's 16 plus uh, nine. Nine because on the April maturity, you had 9% of synthetic short when GapStop is at this level. So it's 25%. And I told you guys that I was conservative here. So it's actually a bit less than this, maybe 20, 15, 20%, something like this. But now if the spot goes higher, uh, as I showed you uh, before, for the April maturity, we go to 35%. And for this uh, July maturity, we go to 20%. So the first thing you can notice is that there is less gamma, all right? You can see that the difference for a move of 300% uh, on GameStop is only 4% here when it was 25% for April. So that's why when the maturity is getting closer, the gamma is increasing and a gamma squeeze is more likely to happen because, you know, what you are looking for, guys, is big moves in this synthetic short. If the synth synthetic short is moving a lot, it means that you're going to see a lot of buying flows in the market to actually hedge the books of those professionals that are selling those call options, which are market makers and hedgements. So here we have a second information is that if the spot goes at 800 or close to that, let's say 700. So you're going to have here 20% and we saw 35% on the April maturity. I'm not taking the small maturities, but we can guess that there is more and we've been conservative. So let's say our figures are correct. So basically you have 55% of synthetic short if the spot goes higher. So only if GameStop goes higher, you're going to have uh, the short squeeze, which is actually a gamma squeeze. And I've just explained to you guys how this is working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like, and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new. 
and stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.